Just a few hours ago, Stability AI released Stable Diffusion 3 and Stable Diffusion 3 Turbo, but with a catch. As you can see, both are only available via API. Now the key takeaways from this are both of them are available via API. They've partnered with Fireworks AI. It's an API platform that provides hosting and fast, stable access to things like Stable Diffusion. And they say that in keeping with their commitment to open generative AI, we aim to make the model weights available for self-hosting with a Stability AI membership in the near future. Now, of course, with this news, I got to work and within three hours, I had Stable Diffusion 3 beta up on pixeldojo.ai. Now with this, you can come in and you can generate an image. You just need a prompt. Optionally, you can provide a negative prompt. You can select between Stable Diffusion 3 and Stable Diffusion 3 Turbo. And then I've even got a handful of examples down below that you can simply click on and it preloads the prompt for you. Now the pricing for the API is actually pretty high. You have to purchase these credits and it's about $10 per thousand credits. But if you look, Stable Diffusion 3 is six and a half credits per image generated, which puts it at about 32 times more expensive to generate an image than Stable Diffusion XL 1.0. Now, even given that, I went ahead and I purchased a whole bunch of credits. If you have a pro plan, so one of the paid plans, which starts at $9.95 a month, actually doesn't just start there. That's the only price for unlimited usage of Pixel Dojo you can jump in and you can start generating images right away. Now, with having all of that said, let's take a look at some of the images. One of the big questions we always have anytime a new model like Stability AI Stable Diffusion 3 drops is how cherry-picked are the actual images that they decide to display on their website? So I wanted to take a whole bunch of the prompts from the press releases, all the things we had seen in the past, run them through, and then we won't cherry-pick anything. We'll just go off the first generation and you can see what kind of quality you can expect to get out of this model. Let's take a look at that. The first one we'll take a look at is this tortoise over here. Portrait photograph of an anthropomorphic tortoise seated on a New York City subway train. We'll drop that right in and click generate. The model's pretty fast, so you can see here from their API, I'm gonna keep talking, and so you can see how long this takes in real time. And there you go, it's pretty fast. And here's our guy, looks like a tortoise sitting in a subway car, kind of seated anthropomorphic style, so he looks kind of human-like. It does look like he has a, kind of a hood over his head. It's like his uh, tortoise shell's kind of a hoodie, so it's a little bit odd, but man, not bad. I think it followed the prompt pretty well. And it's not too far off from the original that they showed on the site. For our second one, we'll go with the middle here. Aesthetic pastel magical realism, a man with a retro TV for a head standing in the center of the desert, vintage photo. Let's see what we get back for this one. And that's pretty close to the one that they have on their website. So these don't look, I'm sure they were cherry picked, right? Because you're going to go through, you're going to generate a few, you're going to pick the best one, you're going to put that on your website. That's how you make money. That's your press release. It makes sense. But I got to say, as far as like the quality of these coming straight out of Stable Diffusion, pretty spot on. Now, the ones that I'm really interested in are these that have a whole bunch of text on them because this is something that most AI generators have struggled with over all time, right? So let's take a look at this one, a cardboard box with the phrase, they say it's not good to think in here. The cardboard box is large and sits on a theater stage. With our first image, it's not quite right. You can see as they say, they it's good think in here. It's kind of mashed up. Let's try generating that again. I've generally in testing had pretty good luck with the text coherence here. So Maybe that's just a fluke. I still messed up on this one. It's closer. They say it's not good. Think, think, in, in, here, here. And then you got thought to think or something, though, T, whatever. All right. It's getting the rest of it. It's on a theater stage, but let's do a third one. I really want to see this get it right. Oh, so close. They say it's good to think, think in here. Man, all right. Fourth time's a charm, maybe. Fourth time is the charm. They say. Oh, not quite. It's is messed up. But the rest of it, they say it's not good to think in here, is correct. All right, not terrible. I want to see how the Stable Diffusion 3 Turbo model does with this, though. Let's run that. And this model should be very quick to return. Yes, it was very quick. They say it's not good to think in here. Uh, other than that, like the 
it's still on a theater stage. It's still a cardboard box. It has the lettering and such. So that's not too bad considering uh, such a quick model, but still not nailing it. They did definitely cherry pick the text that came back. Let's go through some of these examples that I also include on the site just because they're kind of fun. A massive alien spaceship that's shaped like a pretzel. We'll do stable diffusion three standard model first. And here's our initial results. You got this pretzel in the middle, kind of surrounded by this big circular spaceship as well. Kind of interesting. Let's check out the turbo model. A lot lower quality. This looks more cartoonish, almost not really line art, but definitely a lot lower resolution. And I don't know if that's just because it's the turbo model or you know what it is. Because that last one, that box that came back was pretty decent. So we'll try this next one. This one's interesting because it really starts to test some of that prompt adherence. So a kangaroo holding a beer, wearing ski goggles, and passionately singing silly songs. So you've got three things that it has to nail in order for the image to make sense. And this is the turbo model. So you got this kangaroo, you got the goggles, you got him holding a glass. He's got like human-like hands, which is pretty weird for a kangaroo. I don't really get the sense that he's passionately singing. But let's fire up the standard model. All right, you got the goggles, you got the beer, you got a little bit better hands, I guess. And he's got his mouth open like he's getting ready to yell something across the mountainside. Pretty good. An entire universe inside a bottle sitting on the shelf at Walmart on sale, specifically at Walmart. That's pretty good. You get all these weird candies in the background. I don't know what those are. You can see some price tags. They don't actually have prices on them, but it does look like price tags. And then you got what looks like a plastic bottle with an entire universe inside. Pretty interesting. This is another one of those where you really got to nail that prompt adherence. So a cheeseburger with juicy beef patties and melted cheese sits atop of a toilet that looks like a throne and stands in the middle of a royal chamber. And I would say this looks like a royal chamber. You got a throne, there's a toilet. And you got this juicy beef burger sitting on top of it. Not bad. Let's give this text adherence one more shot. A monkey holding a sign reading, all your tech AI is awesome. Hey, there we go. Nailed it. All your tech AI is awesome. That looks great. As you can see, for the most part, I think Stable Diffusion 3 kind of lives up to most of the hype that they had. Most of the images that were generated didn't seem to be too cherry picked. What I got back from just throwing the prompts in here is pretty similar to what they displayed on their website. And that's what you hope to see. You hope to not see these crazy cherry picked things that you can't really generate on your own. You'll also notice I didn't use negative prompts in any of these. So that's something to maybe play around with, toy with a little bit. But the prompt adherence for the positive prompt seems pretty good. It's in fact so good compared to other previous versions of Stable Diffusion that maybe you don't really need negative prompts too much anymore. If you want, head on over to pixeldojo.ai to check this out for yourself. Of course, you need a pro membership. It's $9.95 a month, but that gets you unlimited generations. You can also use a creative upscaler and all the other stable diffusion models that I've got baked in. I'm going to be adding more cool stuff as time goes on. So let me know in the comments what you'd like to see and what you think about Stable Diffusion 3 and Stable Diffusion 3 Turbo. Otherwise, we'll see you next time. Thanks. I'm the virtual prophet in the tech town. Breaking down AI, wearing the crown. From basics to complex, never let you down. All your tech AI, earning the renown.